Well, if you liked uh, wet, uh, wintry <laughs> weather, we, you had your choice of perfect. options today. Yeah. yeah. So. Yesterday and today were perfect for you, but great. I didn't hear many people uh, applauding the weather. No. It was it was it was a lot of complaints, yeah. and I'm sure people out at Keeneland <laughs> over the second opening day just uh, probably didn't appreciate it too much. So my apologies. It's not my fault. <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger. Uh, overall, though, it's just been a very gray, gloomy day. This is a time lapse from the past couple two to three hours. You can see some peaks of sun, some peaks of blue sky now and again, just kind of working through those clouds. Otherwise, you can kind of start to see some of those um, maybe rain snow showers kind of developing farther back over to the west. And then eventually those move our direction and the sky just gets a little darker again. So fortunately, we're past the worst of it. Okay, we can just kind of breathe a sigh of relief because we do have better weather as we step into and throughout the day on Sunday. So the second half of the weekend, a lot better than the first half. We actually return you uh, more to a normal spring like weather pattern coming up tomorrow. It includes sunshine and includes warmer temperatures in the 60s. But then as we push into next week, we have the 70s coming back. In fact, the mid 70s for a couple of days. But you know what that means. That's going to be ushering something else coming up. More rain and the possibility of some strong storm. So we will take a look at that in just a second. Future track shows the remnants, just the last little bit of that moisture. The rain showers, maybe some snow mixing with the rain. Maybe a little bit of grapple in there again today. Most of that mixing in the snow is over to the east. So we'll eventually start to see a lot of those clouds clearing out. That's setting us up for a cold night tonight where we return to freezing. It doesn't last too long. We'll start to warm up quickly tomorrow with the help of not only the sun and a southerly flow of wind, but also a warm front. The warm front's going to do its job and help us to warm up tomorrow afternoon, and it will do so fairly quickly. Ahead of our next cold front, though, that's going to be bringing us another chance to pick up some showers, maybe even a stray rumble of thunder as we move into and throughout the day on Monday, unfortunately. So we really have one great day ahead, and that's tomorrow. After that, things do turn a little bit more active. In fact, rain totals over the course of the next four to five days, taking us through about Thursday, shows uh, quite a bit of rain falling over the western part of the state, maybe central and eastern Kentucky missing out on the heaviest but I'd say between maybe one and two inches of rain is coming up as we roll through the rest of this coming week. High temperatures should be in the mid 60s. We'll be there tomorrow and Monday and then a decent jump up to 74 degrees on Tuesday, 75 on Wednesday after that cold front that sends us back into the 60s, but it's not a huge drop, so we're thankful for that tonight. Really the last cold, cold night for a while. We jump up to 52 degrees for Sunday night. Monday night 56 and even Tuesday night into Wednesday morning 60 degrees. That's the low temperature early morning or night low temperature. Uh, so for tonight again, very cold. We do have a lot of those clouds clearing out as that happens that we call that radiational cooling. Any of the warmth from today and it wasn't much in the low 40s pretty much uh, will be escaping into the atmosphere. So that means cold temperatures setting up freeze warning for our entire viewing area that will go into effect at 1 a.m tonight or tomorrow, and then it will be expiring at 9 a.m. on Sunday. After that, we will see lots of sunshine setting up for tomorrow. So clouds clearing out lows right around 30, maybe even the upper 20s for some. Mid 60s tomorrow feeling great. Southwest wind 5 to 10 miles per hour, so maybe just a bit breezy, but it's going to be a southwest wind, so it is going to be pulling up some warmth from the southwest. Monday, 40% chance of showers. Highs in the mid 60s we'll put you into the 70s for Tuesday and Wednesday, but it comes with more rain and some storms, but I think people would probably rather deal with that than all this wintry weather. We return to the mid 60s for Friday and next Saturday.